Hello everybody, Ricky Adamas of the Dollhouse San Antonio again. How are y'all doing today? Today I'm going to clear up some of the confusion about how the removable vagina works. It's actually very easy. And we have three different options that we have as well as different colors. As you can see next to this 168 centimeter Anastasia body, we have the one centimeter, this is the one centimeter natural uh, color. And this one here next to it is a two centimeter light tan color. And we also have, for the Chads and Tyrones, a 2.5 centimeter diameter opening here. So just depending on how thick you are, if your cock's thick, or if you like a uh, real tight uh, vagina, then you can go with the one on the left. Or if you feel more comfortable getting one on the right, because that's just what's best for you. You know, some people have uh, complaints about really tight vagine here on the left. So just pick what's best for you. And then when you get that in, the next thing you're going to do when you get your doll in the mail is put her in position to insert the removable vagina. So we're going to first lift one leg up, like you hold one leg down and then you'll bring this one up and some creaking is normal. And we have this one in position. Now we're going to grab her here and just move this one up like this see and now you have the two legs in the upright position and basically you're just going to like a normal girl spread the legs like this and then you'll notice that with the legs spread like that there's not a lot of space for you to get in between but what you can do is push the legs further towards her head so you can grab them here and move them back towards her head like this, see? And that'll give you space to basically get between her legs once you spread them all the way. Now, commence with the jokes about what I'm going to do to this doll after uh, I put this demonstration <laughs> to use. So, now, anyway, this is the, what you're going to do. So you're going to take whatever diameter you have and you're gonna take this removable vagina and you're gonna take some baby powder here. And this is the best way to do it, is just get some baby powder and then just sprinkle it here liberally on here and see this dusts the outside of the vagina and makes it less tacky. Now that you've done that, you're gonna take this powdered donut and shove it inside her vagina. So this thing, it actually stretches out. See, if you tried to have sex with this thing, it probably wouldn't go so well. I don't know, I haven't or anything like that so I wouldn't know but you can take this powdered lubrication and put it in here now if you want to make stuff really easy on yourself what you could do is leave it a little bit out like that and that'll make it easier for you if you're not one of those people that like has to see yourself going into the doll and make it so visually stimulating if you just want an easy cleanup then this is the best thing to do right here now Let's say that you're like, oh no, I have to see my dick going inside there and I want it to be as visually accurate as possible. Well then, what you would do is shove it in even further. So, these lips here, you can spread them and you can make the vagine go all the way inside past the lips. And here, essentially, you won't even be able to see it. Now, one of the problems that I think with this is the most prevalent is that once you get it inside there you know you can go inside there or whatever but let's say that you don't come all the way out right let's say that like you come inside here and you know it's like not even inside the vagina right when you pull out some semen or whatever it is is gonna you know get <laughs> here and you're gonna have to when you pull the removable vagina out what you're going to have to do is clean the inside cavity of the doll. I mean your girlfriend, whatever she is to you. Once you get your business done or whatever, you basically you warm the vagina up and then you insert it like that. Once you're done, what you want to do is clean your hands off, go clean your penis off in the sink or whatever, and then come back and then with some clean hands, what you're going to do is grab here and then you're going to remove the vagina and because it's powdered and because you didn't insert it all the way like I recommended to you, this will easily pull out because of the dry lubrication. And then 
you'll have like some wetness around here from whatever fluids and lubrication you used. You could take your baby wipes and basically clean around here, around her groin area, and you'll clean here and the most outside surfaces first. And then you'll eventually work your way in and you'll clean the dirtier surfaces, which are gonna be like the anus where some lubrication leaked in. And then you could get inside the vagina and you could clean out whatever fluid may have gotten in there if you pushed it in all the way during sex, depending on how rough you were. And what you're going to do after that is you're going to take your baby oil and you're going to apply here in the areas around the creases of the hips on her body and you're just going to rub that in here and then you're going to go down to the anus and the anus gets stretched out pretty good too especially if you have sex with it but when you spread her legs like this it puts stress on the anus area so you want to clean this up real good with some oil and then what we're going to do is apply some oil inside the vagine as well and that will add to the how do you say plasticity or the ability of it, the vagine to stretch out and then basically what you're going to do is let this oil sink seek in you're going to let this oil seep into the creases and inside the body and once that is, has seeped in because the TPE will absorb the oils that you're applying then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to after the oils have seeped in you'll dust her with a sprinkling of baby powder and that will make her body less tacky so you would go over like this but right now I'm gonna let the oil seep in and basically that will make her less tacky when you apply the baby powder now if you want an experience that's really nice and makes the boobies feel really good, you could take your gloves or just bare hands and rub the oils on the titties. And that's a really nice erotic experience that feels just like real boobs. If you ever get a chance to do that, or if you're here in San Antonio, you could see what I mean in person. What you're gonna do is basically just take the removable vagine and go into the sink and just clean it out. You can open this up and put soap and water in there and just clean it out. And you can turn it inside out, but that's kind of tough. So you'll just, I think that the best thing to do is just put soap and water in there and then just let it run out. And then you can, to maintain this thing, you can, um, you could pour alcohol in there. I've done a little bit of experiments with it and you could pour alcohol inside there. Now, essentially, I had this this removable vagina inside some isopropyl alcohol of I think it's about 40%, 50%, and this has been sitting in here with no degradation at all to the vagina. So alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl, 50% is totally safe and I've had a condom on here that I would rub the condom on here to see if it would break down the TPE material of the removable vagina and it hasn't degraded it at all and this is a this is a Trojan skin I believe it is a polyurethane condom and it's extremely extremely uncomfortable it does not feel good at all I tried to use one with a girl from Tinder the other day and it was just not a good experience. I took it off. They make they use this to make bowling balls and also uh, suspension components for cars and it is just horrible. It feels like a suspension component when you put it on your penis. So this one and the Trojan skin condom seem to be very safe to use. So if this video was helpful, comment, like, subscribe, and have a great day.